Of course I'm focused, mom. I have goals. Eyes on the prize, mom. <laughs> I'm proud of you, mom. Yeah. Yeah, sure, sure. All right. I'll see you when you get back. All right, mom. Love you. Okay. So I should ignore the fact that you've been spending all you have just to look good for the Fibrisima. For the tenth time. I am not spending all I have. And I'm not looking good for them. I am looking good for me, myself, and I. Sis, can you please mind your business? <sighs> Lucy, I should mind my business. I am your sister for crying out loud. And it is my duty to be worried about you. Big sis, I am fine, okay? No, you're not fine. I mean, this is the third time you're shopping in one month. And I mean expensive clothes. Are you done? Lucy. I I'm fine, and you? Yeah, I'm good. Uh, I'm actually heading to, uh, I have to see my daughter. Uh, she's talking to us about uh, expansion. Oh, wow. She must really be talented. Yeah, she is. Uh, my mom chose her. She's actually her one train. Ah, nice. Yeah. Um, have you met her? No, no, I haven't met her, but I'm looking forward to. Uh, that's nice. Hey, I wanted to talk to you before I start my day. Oh, that's so nice of you. Uh huh. I was reading an online news about your mom. Your mom's on the news again. Yeah, I know. My mother is a star. She's always on the news. Yeah, she was a talk of town yesterday, actually. <laughs> that's so nice. She's a nice person. All right, I'll call you. Once I'm done with work, yeah? Alright. I love you. I love you too, baby. Bye. <laughs> <sighs>
Kager. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> she should be close. Mm. Yeah, well, you know her office is really tough to get. Plus traffic. But well, I'll wait. I know. <laughs> <laughs> The movies are first the other way. Yeah. <laughs> it is. Hi, Lucy. Hey, best one. You're here. Well, I have been waiting to see you. Uh, the traffic was crazy. Have we been talking about it? Yeah. Very <laughs> soon. Hi, darling. Mwah. Mwah. How are you doing? How was work? Uh, not bad. Thank you. Um, let me give you two time to talk. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, so, 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 yeah, but the money, the influence, uh, I bet you no woman or your gender can resist it. No. I think it's more than that for Lucy. Because the fact that the family is very, very ambitious. I expect them to be. And um, she's setting herself up for a serious heartbreak. I didn't know it was going to get this serious. I didn't know too. For most of being a guy we know from afar over the years, to Lucy getting close to him, and now they are in love. Oh, she is in love. Yes. And I pray that he feels the same exact way because she's doing so much to be worthy of them. <sighs> I know you love her. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been trying so hard for many years we've been friends not to feel the way I am feeling now, but it's still not working. Outside. Well, you know, he came because of you. Well, sis, he's also your friend now. I'm not saying he's not, but he's not here because of me. What would you have me do? Oopsie. Show him that you appreciate his friendship. But I show him the best I can. By coming up here to take a call. He waited and waited until he can't wait anymore. That's because I didn't want to come out and start pretending like I don't see the way he looks at me. He looks at you that way because he loves you. And that makes me uncomfortable. Since you know I'm in a serious relationship. Are you? I don't understand. What, what sort of question is that? A relationship you cannot take a picture with your man. You can't post on social media. You can't even be seen with him in public, not forgetting the fact that his family does not know who you are. Are you doing? Yes, I am. Well, this is my relationship, not yours. Fine, I, I, I know it's not smooth, but I believe and I will wait until things get better between us. Lucy, listen, this man loves you. He's ready to show you to his family today and, and show you off to the whole world. What is between Desmond and I? It's friendship, nothing more. I know you're concerned about me, but seriously, you need to let me do me. 
Or better still, you can have him if you want. I cannot do that. See, I'm only worried about you. Families like the Fibrisima ends up with their type. Oh, Dan, can you please, please and please stop with this, your old story of how the poor ends up with the poor and the rich ends up with the rich and the circle, the thing goes around and blah, 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 blah. Can you just please stop? Oh, that's the reality. That's the reality, Lucy. Okay, you know. You know about my story with Emeka? You know how everything played out? At the end of the day, what happened? His family said no. Because I'm not as rich as they are. That's why I'm trying to avoid something like that happening to you. That is Emeka, not Austin. That is your reality, not mine. That is your experience. Allow me to experience mine. Okay? I'm not, I'm not with Austin because of his money. No. I am with him because of his kind of person. How he inspires me and makes me feel good. Listen, sis. I love him. Okay? As good as that sounds, not every good thing you want you possibly get. I'm your sister. And I love you. That's why I'm looking out for you. I love you. Excuse me. Jerry, please for calling back. Uh, okay. Please, I need your number back. Um, I'm not coming in today. Yes, I am. I want to call in sick for the week. So, um, I'm defending my thesis for my MBA. On Monday, and I have only this week to finalize all my documents, my research, and studies. <laughs> my dear, I'm just preparing for a greater future for myself. I know now. Why won't make you help me now? Mm? Yes, that's what I'm talking about. I beg. <laughs> okay, fine. I owe you one. <laughs> All right, then. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Thank you. Mom. Um, yes, I spoke with her. She said she was going to call me, but she hasn't called. But yes, the last time we spoke, uh, she said she was booking her flight. <sighs> it's all right, Mom. I I will just pass the phone to him. Okay, bro. Mom wants to speak with you. Hey, Mom. What? 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was okay. Uh, she's really cool. Yeah, she can do a lot for us. Yeah, she seems very productive. Uh, she looks looks like she knows uh, the job. Yeah. No, 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 no. I didn't. I didn't call her. Mom, I've been very busy. I'm very busy with work. Yeah. Yeah. My schedule is really tight. Mom, listen, when you return, right? I'll introduce someone to you. Yeah. All right, cheers. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, so, bro, who are you introducing to mom? Someone. Yeah. What's her name? What do you need her name for? Mind your business. Just to check her out, nothing else. Do I check your friends out? But you already know my friends. So tell me, who is this person? Don't worry, when she comes, you'll see her. Is she coming today, tomorrow? Because I can cancel my plans. Cancel what plans? What plans do you have? Uh, well, Justin and I are traveling to uh, London in a few days. I can cancel it. Go to London. When you come back, you'll see her. All right. <laughs> Whatever works for me. It's fine. Hmm, at least, thank God. Hmm? Finally. Ha! What do you mean, finally? Hmm. Since you broke up with a princess, you haven't talked about anyone. And this person must be something to you. I'm hungry. Can you get me something to eat? No. Trying to avoid the question. It's fine. Uh, we, uh, okay, hello? Hi, bro. Pasta and sauce, please. Is it? <laughs> yep. Really? Mm -hmm. You like it? Yes, I do. You're welcome. Thank you. And thanks for the compliment. So tell me, what do I offer you? Uh, how about a room in your house? <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's funny. Listen, my room is your room. Okay. Oh, that's yeah. so sweet. I mean it. Oh, your sister's not around. No. Um, Wendy is still in the UK, and uh, Vanessa went to see her boyfriend. So, just you and I. Ah. Uh, okay. Nice. <laughs> Listen, I. Uh, I wanted to bring you here. I mean, I wanted to show you where I stay. I know I should have done this a long time ago, but I guess this is the right time. Um, <clears throat> very impressive. What should I offer you? Uh... I don't know. Anything. You know what? Let's go to the kitchen. You watch me make something for you to eat. Let's oh, go. Okay. Yeah. Come. Tell us what we
You're welcome. Mm, thank you. You now come to my house these days without calling to tell me you're coming over. Uh, that's because when well, I keep calling you, you keep telling me you're not available, so I just have to teach the calling. Um, that was because I, I wasn't available. Okay. Um, you know, work and all that. Yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. So how about now, are you available? This is me standing in front of you. Obviously, Great. I am available to talk. So let's talk. Can we? Sure. <laughs> <coughs> So, um, you didn't come after your call the other day that I waited a while, so I had to inform Diane to tell her that I had gone. Oh, I'm so sorry. I actually had to attend to something and I forgot to come back. That's okay. Um, so now, we can talk. Great. Um, honestly, I sincerely didn't want to make you uncomfortable. And I'm here today to make you understand that our friendship all these years means so much to me and I do not want anything to ruin it. So, yeah, I do not want anything to ruin our friendship. Right. <laughs> yes. Okay. <clears throat> I understand you and Austin, the both of you, what you guide, Scott, is important to you. Mm -hmm. Yes, please. Okay. And as a matter of fact, I feel so awkward anytime I come around you avoid me or you try to dodge something. I feel bad though. That's okay. I acknowledge what you guys share and I'm willing to support you. Really? Yeah. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, I'm cool. so sorry for the way I have acted towards you. I'm so sorry for the other day. I'm so sorry. Huh? Apologies no. accepted. <laughs> yeah, I think. Yeah. Okay, you now let me just go change out then. Right. laughing and drinking with this man? Yes. That's because he has finally acknowledged my relationship with Austin in honor of our friendship. Oh. <laughs> That's nice. Um, you're defending next week? Yep. On Monday. Okay. That's great. Oh. That's great. So I'm going to say this so I'll give you time to study because I don't want our relationship to get worse. We've been arguing a lot these days. I know you've admired Austin for a long time. You have two masters and now about to finish an MBA. What I'm trying to say is this. <laughs> I, don't want to, I don't want to keep going on and on and I'll start sounding like a broken record. What if Austin ends up with someone else? Would you be comfortable with all these investments you've made just to be worthy of him? Um, <clears throat> well, um, Austin and I are both in love. Yes, I, I know that I'm yet to meet his family, but I know with time it will happen. I'll get to meet every one of them. And as for my degrees, I am doing it for me. Austin doesn't even know I have multiple degrees. He only knows about this MBA. I am developing myself so that when I walk into a room full of 
the high and mighty people. I will be able to defend myself. I'm guarding all these degrees for myself, not for anyone else. Okay? Fine, Austin is an inspiration, but I'm doing everything for me, not for him. Anyway, you know I am a cut your coat according to your clothes kind of person. Everyone have class. If Austin is not proud to show you to his family, maybe it's time you start distancing yourself from him. Okay? Surprise, surprise. Yeah. <laughs> hey, mom. Good morning. Mm. How are you? I'm all right. You okay? Mm -hmm. You didn't tell me you were calling. Yeah, because I wanted to surprise you. When I called you last night, you didn't pick up and you, re you didn't return my calls. Oh, that was because I was busy doing something and I stepped off. Really? Um. You got me worried. Oh, fine. Okay. How are you? I'm okay. So you're meeting with my sisters over dinner? Yeah. And uh, Vanessa should be on her way back from London. And uh, Wendy arrived last night. Oh my goodness. I can't wait to meet them. I know. I know you'd like that. <laughs> Besides my mother, mm -hmm. you'd see her when she returns. Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah? Oh, your sister's here. <laughs> hey, hi. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Good morning. Good morning. 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 You okay? I'm fine. Great. You didn't come inside. Oh yes, that's because I, I wanted to... You invited me to meet with the sisters over dinner. Wow. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> okay, I have to run now. My cab is outside. Wait, yes, there. please. All right, take care. Take care. Uh, have a great day. Take care. All right. <laughs> um, uh, you good? Mm -hmm. So, uh, are you ready for work? Um, actually not going to work. I'm going to see a friend of mine. I need to give her a drive that she wants to work with. Oh, great. Where is mm -hmm. that? Um, three bus stops away. Mm -hmm. Can I take you there? Um, let me see. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Sorry, I had to surprise you. to listen to me. If you truly care about my sister, the time is now. Yes, you need to be coming around more often now that Austin wants to introduce her to the family. Yes. Whatever stopped him from doing it all this while is about to be made obvious. You care about my sister, so I need you to be around, to be the shoulder she leans on. When what I'm afraid of happens. Yes. Please do that. Okay. All right, I'll be expecting you. All right, thank you. Bye. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. Hope you slept well. Yes, I did. Uh, not really. I was going to head into the kitchen to make fried rice. Uh, only if you're not miles and miles away. Says who? my way to your place or some inspiration. You're already on your way. See this was still alive. <laughs> no problem. Just start coming then. <laughs> uh, see you soon. Okay. See you soon. <laughs> All right. Bye. <laughs> so it's such a good.
Komm. Quite well. Okay. So tell me, how's the taste is coming along? Uh, it's going quite well. That's more like it. You know what I think? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna pay you handsomely as soon as you're done submitting this project. Oh shit! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I got you. I got you. Thank you. See free money. Well, anyways, um, I got us. Something to snack on. Oh, Aww. Mm -hmm. you're such a perfect gentleman. Oh my goodness, you got me my favorite biscuit. Yeah, I know your favorite. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome. <laughs> so tell me, um, how is it going? Uh, it's going on well. I just have um, a few things to do to get through with everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, almost done, buddy. Okay. That'd be good. Yeah. I can't wait to see you get it done, though. Oh, thank you. <laughs> so, how did it go? Yeah, it went well. Should I be worried? About what? Because he came around to... Yeah, I mean, he spent a lot of time. He was there for hours. Uh, well, he helped with um, the project while I did some research. And? And nothing. Are you jealous? Of course I am. Shouldn't I be? Well, no need to be. He's my friend and we've been friends in a long time. Alright. So does this friend know about me? Of course. Mm -hmm. What does he think about me? How? Does he see me as a rival? How am I supposed to know? I mean, he might probably say something suggestive to you. Well, not to my hearing. Okay. I still don't want him around you. Uh, you know, maybe I shouldn't have told you about him. Listen, it's okay to tell me. All right, next time I'll try to control myself. But if he tries to play funny, I'll pay him a visit. <laughs> Don't worry. I won't let that happen. <laughs> That's okay. I love you. I love you too, Austin. So is tomorrow still happening? Yep. Yes. All right. I'll let you sleep and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, baby. <laughs> I love you. All right. Good night. Ah. <laughs> Ooh, baby. See, I have chosen you, and I have made up my mind. It doesn't matter what anybody say, you're the one for me. I have chosen you, and I have made up my mind. You're the one for me. That's why I will keep calling you together forever never gonna leave your side alone. you're the one my head is you know if you keep doing this <laughs> i will get used to it yeah yes well that's what i get for you know knowing our goddess for very long time. <laughs> you're very right <laughs> let me see you see my favorite biscuit again 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 <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. 
paint for each other Just like see we be bread and butter We go miss like each other and sugar Hey, baby, yeah You have won my heart oh. And I'm not going back That's why I will keep calling you Together forever, never gonna leave your side. Oh, oh my, oh, that's just the way it's Hey, come on, come on. Ah, da, 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 da. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the way it is. Oh my, oh my. Wow. I don't know. Wow! It just looks good on you. <laughs> Thank you. It is. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. So, I'm meeting Austin's sisters. Oh, it's mm -hmm. today. Yes. Wow, you look beautiful. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you. I can't wait to meet them. Kind of nervous, anyways. Hey, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, your hair. Why don't we just allow it to flow? Let me get that for you. <laughs> uh, I, I thought that you would be lecturing me about the poor should follow the poor and the rich with the rage da 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 those you you know those things no not today <laughs> see all i want is for you to be happy and respected uh, and since he's introducing you to the family no complaints today thank you 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 Oh my god! Hi! Hi girls! My name is Lucy. What's your name? What's your name? My name is Vanessa. And then my name is Akame. Oh, I love you. Oh, I can't wait. Thank you. Do I look What do you mean you know nothing about her? Because I don't know anything about her. No surname? Not even your first name. Why? We need to know exactly who she is. Of course. And that is why I was asking him questions about her. But he has refused to say anything, you know. But he already told mom that he will be introducing someone to her. That means he's serious with her. Mm, clearly. Then we need to know everything about her. Oh, yes. Um, that is why I'm happy about this dinner. At least we get to know her. Do you know how long they've been together? Mm. No idea. I don't know. I didn't know Austin was with someone since Princess. Clearly, he has been secretly seeing someone. And we need to find out about her. You know, Mom is going to ask. Yeah, I know, right? She will. Yep. Oh. Wine is here. Oh. She is truly special. <laughs> oh, I think she's here. Give me a sec. Hey, babe. How are you? You're welcome. You're right on time. Come here. Uh, yeah, so uh, meet my sisters, Wendy, Vanessa, meet my girlfriend, Lucy, isn't she beautiful? <laughs> nice to meet you girls, hello, you're welcome, babe, please make yourself comfortable, sit, make yourself comfortable, Thank you. We're just about to do justice to the food before you appear. <laughs> All right. Okay, so, uh, babe, 
Okay, so what do you need for starters? We have fruits, uh, apples. Yeah. apples? Mm -hmm. All right, so you just help yourself. That's fine. I hope we're allowed to ask questions, Lucy. Sure, of course. Guys, so um, we are all here to have fun and um, enjoy ourselves and, uh, you know, catch up. I wouldn't appreciate questions directed at one person alone. Hmm? Um, we can do both. I mean, we are just meeting her for the first time. We are curious. It's fine. Hmm. Um, where do you live? On the mainland or island? Mainland. Where on the mainland? Hey, hey, what's going on here? Are you trying to pay her a visit or something? I just want to know. What do you need her address for? Um, she meant, is it like GROA or... I know where she stays. You both don't have to know where she stays, alright? I don't get it. If you don't want us to know anything about her, then I'm wondering what this dinner is about. Hey, hey, listen, listen. It's actually fine. I, I can answer any question. Just quiet, please. Hey. Hey. I'm in charge here. Henceforth, no more questions, all right? Can we just eat? That's why we're here. Let's eat. Let's eat. Mm. Okay. Babe, just uh. Hey, where's your manners? Can you. Food. Mm. Hey babe, come here. I apologize. I I didn't expect those questions. They don't like me and they couldn't even hide it. That's not true. You can't possibly say that. Listen, they don't know you, so they can't influence my actions or decision towards you. Okay. Um, I need to change. Come here. Listen, I'm sorry. I know you feel bad, but I'm. You want to go change? Okay. I'll, I'll call you later. Okay. I love you. Love you too. Say it like you mean it. I do. Alright. Give me a smile. I mean, that's going to make me uh, believe you. You love me. All right, that's a very fake smile. You know that? I'll call you. Okay. There is this mountain between the sides. Do you know? 
don't even know what I'm going through Cause we are world apart There is this thick line In between this relationship And you never know what I'm going through Cause we are world apart Yes, you love me And I love you too And you need me I need you too That we cannot do this without our families This is goddamn complicated I love you And you love me too I need you And you need me too We cannot do this without our family So the question now is will they accept me? So you see, I'm not worthy of you. So just let me be. Don't wanna waste your time. You can see that I'm not the option. I'm not worthy of you. So let me be. Do you want to talk? Okay. I just wanted to make sure you're okay. I'll just excuse you. Mm -hmm. Alright. I'll go. There is this mountain between the silence and you never know what I'm going through. Cause we are world of There is this thick line In between this relationship And you never know What was that? How? What were you trying to do? Oh, that. We're just trying to get to know her. So tell me, why were you so interested in her address? What has where she lives got to do with who she is? <laughs> That's part of getting to know her. And that was why you turned the dining into a courtroom, right? Austin, I think you're overreacting. How am I overreacting? Why are you always avoiding discussion about her? Who is she exactly? Mm -hmm. What's her surname? Are you out of your mind? What the hell is wrong with you? No, tell me. So you think mom or the rest of the family will let you end up with just anybody? Now listen and listen good. If any of you, including mom, interfere in my relationship with Lucy, I swear to God you would have me to contend with. What do you think this is? Wait, do you think I can't walk away from all of these things? This entire wealth you protect with your lives? Is that what you think? Sometimes I expect you to pray to God to send husbands your way, not boyfriends who sleep with you and don't come to ask your hand in marriage. So instead of you to mind your business, try me. Yes. I mean, that is why mom is always being careful with him. Oh, please. 
things. I think we should do the same. What do you mean? Did you see that? If mom hands over everything to him, that means we have to suck up to some non-entity to get our students' attention and to benefit from all mom is handing over to him. If it's this into her, then we should let her know some truth about us. Then. What truth? So many. There are so many. You just have to pick one. About it now. I've moved on from it. What is it? He's not talking to me, okay? When he can see that I truly care. I appreciate the fact that you care about my relationship. But I don't want to discuss about it. What did Austin do? The sisters don't like me. How do you know about that? It was written all over their faces. Their attitude towards me. Everything. Okay, what is Austin saying about it? I was apologizing on their behalf. That's good. But you need to make sure he addresses his sisters. Okay? I'm sure he did that already. But this is the first time they are meeting you. Why don't they just chill and get to know you? Exactly my point. Yeah, but you have to deal with that. Because I am in charge now. Yes. Running the company has always been my desire. And I do not want to break my mother's heart. Listen, we need to put down strong security measures to ensure that the company is safe. So I'll call you tomorrow to schedule a meeting. I need to see everybody. Everyone. You've been on this for hours. Yes, so I'm um, presenting my thesis tomorrow. Yeah, I know. Well done. Um, guess what is around? Oh, that's nice. Are you coming to see him? Uh, nah, I can't afford to leave this. I'm just telling him I'll call him, okay? Okay. Alright. Um, do you think he still has a job? Of course. Because it's practically here every time. 
because he's very fond of you and he says that your dedication to your studies helps him fight um, procrastination. Yeah, that's true. He said that, but I didn't expect him to always be here. Do you want him to stop? Good, because he's a great friend you should always have at your corner. <laughs> Alright, uh, just please tell him that I'll call him tomorrow. I'll tell him. Thank you. Hi. Her thesis presentation is tomorrow, so she wants to read in her room. So that means I should leave. Yes. I think I'm beginning to come a little too much. I'm coming enough for her to see you as a better option. And yet she wants me to leave. You know, Lucy, she really wants to do her best with her thesis presentation. And for a long time she has been seeing you as a friend. So I think it's high time you take it up a notch. How about we, we're forcing this whole thing on her? I mean, pushing her so hard that maybe eventually if she has to consider they need to be out of pity. It doesn't make sense. Oh no, we are not. Do you really believe that the Fibrisima will allow their highly prized son to marry the daughter of a late teacher? See, what she has with Austin is beautiful, but the odds are against them. I'm just preparing myself to be ready for the heartbreak. And I need you to be here to give her a shoulder to cry on. That's all. Um, I'm just going to be here to, to, to take care of her. Thank you. You are really who she needs. I'm sure about that. It's okay. Um, I guess I'll have to leave now and then come tomorrow after her thesis presentation. That's okay. Take care. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Let's see. It depends on how you want us to collaborate. That's all right. I'll be sending my son to discuss the details with you. <laughs> Chief, if you want the discussion to be between my son and yours, I'm comfortable with that. Come on, it is their time. We need to hand over the bottom to them. That's all right. Okay. Let me know how it goes. Hmm. All right. Hey, Mom. Hi, son. Mm -hmm. How are you? I'm okay. How are you? Very well. Already. Yeah, there are some businesses we need to discuss with them, and I told him you will be the one he will be speaking with. You know what he said? What? That you will be speaking with your mate, Kelvin. <laughs> he said that? Oh, okay. I actually prefer Kelvin. I prefer to speak to Kelvin, yeah. 
I'd rather speak to Calvin, Mom. But then? Is Calvin taking over? Mm-hmm. Like you are. Thank you, Mom. Come on, Austin. You are a good son. I am lucky. I'm lucky to have you. Thanks, Mom. Welcome all the time. Mom, I met someone. Really? Yeah, I did. Who is she? Don't worry. You don't know her. She's not a daughter to any of your rich friends. I see. Yeah. All right. Um, she's very important to me, Mom. Okay. Let me meet her. Sure, I'll arrange that. Okay. Uh, Mom. So, uh, I have some plantain on the fire. Mm. Careful. Yeah. All okay. right. Sure. Awesome. Mom. Does she make you happy? Yes. She does make me happy. Are you sure? I'm very sure, Mom. She better be worthy of you. Ah, oh, come on, Mom. Mom, planting on the way. Alright, love. I'll be waiting. Someone's really ready for this defense. <laughs> yes. Come in. Come in. I'm fine. Okay. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> What's up, babe? I'm good. You look happy. Oh, yeah. I'm happy. Uh, my mom is around. She's oh. in town. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> and guess what? Mm -hmm. She wants to see you. Yeah. That's a lie. I told her lots about you and uh, she's eager to see you. Oh my god. When? Tonight. Over dinner. Oh. What? Um, uh, nothing. The thing is I have to um, finish with my presentation and I'll be free for the rest of the day. Can I watch you? Mm -mm. Why? You make me uncomfortable. How? How? Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you know what? Mm. I'll come pick you up at, uh, let's say, 5.30 p.m. Mm. How about that? Yes. Good? Mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> I love you. I love you too. <laughs> mm. Alright, mm. take care. Mm. Good luck with Thank your you. presentation. Yeah. <laughs> Take care. Bye. Bye, Betty. Okay. Right. Yes. Oh, Someone is looking good. <laughs> Thank you. So finally, you're going to meet the Almighty Mrs. Fibrisima. Yes. And I'm like, I'm scared. No, no need. Just relax. She's going to love you. Have you seen that woman? Have you seen the way she carries herself? There's this aura that she has, the, the, the charisma, everything. Oh my goodness. Just relax. Do you think she like you? She like you, sis. Relax, okay? Okay, I'm, I'm not too dressed, Abby. Relax, you can't be. Try to put on red lipstick or something. I don't know. You're good to go. Trust me. Oh my God. Relax. 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 Relax.
Hello, big brother. Oh, hello, Lucy. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hey. Why are you smiling? Uh, is it now a crime to smile? <laughs> well, um, I was looking for you inside. And mom wants to see you. Mom wants to see me? Yes. Where is she? Oh, she's in her room. Well, don't worry, I will, I will stay with her. Trust me, I will. <laughs> but oh. I'll be back shortly, all right? Okay. Please make yourself comfortable. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm. All right. Mm. <laughs> I never see. Mm. Mm. She looks so gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> Mom is fine, mom is fine. <laughs> you know how men are. Mm -hmm. Austin is not an exception. You know, he, he, he has this girl he's bringing to dinner today. Poor girl. She doesn't even know Austin has a babe already. Yeah, of course, he has a babe chosen for him to get married to. She's currently studying in, in Switzerland. Mm-hmm. Even if she calls down to Nigeria, they get him married. Yes. Ah, hmm. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not spilling. I'm not saying anything. I won't tell her. Austin has to do it himself. Yes. Which I know he will never do. But then, let's see how it goes because I know he won't dare. <laughs> Poor girl, I feel for her. Yeah, nah, you know how my mom is. She can smile and smile at you, but she's not on your side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know she'll smile at her today at the dinner, but hmm, I know my mom already. <laughs> oh, I feel for her. Poor girl. <laughs> Hi Lucy. Ah, I didn't know you were here. You uh, welcome. Uh, how are you? I'm good. Um, yeah. I, I I I didn't know anybody was around. Uh, so you can see she's she's fine. Uh, you're fine. Yeah. Uh, okay. Um, <clears throat> nothing to drink. Uh, I don't know. I'm keeping her company. Oh, yeah. oh. Okay. Please. You must be Lucy? Yes, ma'am. Mm. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Nice meeting you. What do you do? Um, I work at the business development company. A business development company. Yes, ma'am. So, what's your discipline? 
I have two masters, one in economics and the second in psychology. I just finished an MBA. Hmm. That's amazing. So tell us, what school did you attend? Yeah. What? I'm just asking because... We Wendy, go check if your brother is done with the call he's making. So, what do you... Vanessa, go to my room. Check my portal. Get my sick and phone. Lucy. Yes, ma'am. What do your parents do? My parents are late. Well, my dad was a science secondary school teacher in our village, and my mom was a trader. Impressive. Has Austin told you about the global expansion we're working on? Um, yes, just a little. A little? Okay, let's see. I am telling you now. What would be your first set of questions? Or rather, what and what would you be putting in consideration first? Okay, um... Well, I... I would consider if the economic benefits of expanding into an international market outweighs the, the risk and then see if the planned expansion um, if the planned expansion offers unique opportunities for innovation and then lastly i i will look at um, the cultural adaptation into a new market hmm. you're very smart thank you ma i'm impressed <laughs> welcome to my home thank you Yep. Mom? Mm. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Hey, Mom. You know what Yeah, 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 yeah. Princess is looking good. You good? Have a nice time. She's so smart. Yes, Mom, I told you she is.
Are you okay? Mm -hmm. You didn't let me drop you off last night. And you texted me saying you want to see me. It's urgent. Yes. What's up? Thanks for coming. Can we sit? Sure. Your mom is really a nice person. Yeah, my mom is cool. So, what's up? Um, I want us to take a break. You want us to take a break from what exactly? From this. From this? What? What do you mean? Um, this relationship, us, everything. Wait, are you breaking up with me? I, I want it to be a mutual decision. There's absolutely nothing mutual about breaking up with me, is there? Well, I've made up my mind. What did my mom tell you? She didn't say anything. She was really nice. She wanted to know about what I studied and who my parents are. That's all. And my sisters? <sighs> this has nothing to do with anybody. So if I understood you correctly, um, you wake up one morning and decide to break up with me, just like that, for no reason. Yes. Is there something I should know about? Is there something you want to tell me? How? What happened yesterday? Yesterday? Nothing happened yesterday. Yes, you were with Lucy when I went upstairs to see mom. Oh, yes. What happened? Did you guys, did you tell her anything? About what? Mm -mm. Did you talk about me? Us? No. You sure? <laughs> no. What is going on? Lucy just broke up with me. What? Yeah. She just broke up with me. Uh, why? I have no idea. I'm here to find out. Are you sure you didn't tell her anything? I just told you I didn't say anything to her. Where's mom? She's in her room.
C'est soit un point. I broke up with Austin. Why? You were right. About what? I was just an option. There's someone already chosen for him. You found out last night? How did you find out? From his sister. Did you confront us then? You have to. No. I don't want to. I'm so angry that I don't want to, I don't want to talk to you. <laughs> Can I talk to her? She doesn't want to. She doesn't want to talk to me? Yes. Why? Listen, can she at least tell me what I did wrong? Austin, you need to give her more time. Okay? Give her time. Give her time? What do you mean give her time? What exactly is the problem? What am I giving her more time for? Cause we are 
Well, it has finally happened. They have broken up and she's hurting. You need to make a move now. She needs comfort. You need to be here for her. Yes. Okay. No problem. Thank you. Shabbat. Sure, Did you sleep well? Yes, I did. You don't look like you slept well. I did. Alright. So are you ready to tell me why you broke up with me just like that? For no reason? I've considered everything. Considered what? What the future holds. <laughs> and what does he hold? Nothing. How do you know that? your question. Shoot. Who is Julia? Who is she? The only Julia I know of is a friend who's in Switzerland. Running a PhD? Yes, she's doing a PhD program. How did you get that information? It just came out. <clears throat> well, um, Austin, I think it's best we move on with our lives. How do you intend to make that happen? All right, put yourself in my shoes. Or well, let's say uh, we turn the table around. How would you feel if I do all of these to you? Imagine if I'm the one with options. Choosing who to end up with. <laughs> she was only suggested to me. I have nothing to do with her. Why didn't you tell me? Because we're not having that conversation. I have absolutely nothing to do with her. Well, Austin, I didn't have any options. I chose you the very first time I fell in love with you. I'm done. I'll make things easier for you. You can choose whoever you want from your numerous girls. But I'm done. Between the silence and you never know 
what I'm going through Cause we are out of path There is this thick line In between this relationship oh, And you never know what I'm going through Cause we are out of path Yes, you love me And I love you too And you need me um, she home? Um, I still need to give her some space. Why, why should I do that? You know how I feel about your sister, don't you? Do you see a future in this relationship? Because I don't think so. I beg your pardon. Why don't you think so? Austin, you're from a worthy family. And I don't see you marrying from the family of a local teacher and his late wife. I don't think so. <laughs> Diana, I understand how you feel. But the truth is, what has all of that got to do with how I feel about your sister? And your family? Diana, I need to correct an impression. You see, I owe no one an apology for being wealthy. I'm also very grateful to God for the privileges I have. I need to correct this impression about rich people. You see, some rich people are very condescending and others are not. And I fall into the category of the humble ones. So. I just need you to show some respect, honestly. Okay, but I still think you need to give her some space, please. No, 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 you, you have to stop it to me. Who wins it? Right. You see, it's my turn. Hold on. Turn around. I'm just getting started. I'm just getting started. Suspension. Two. Um. I need. Um. Stop. <laughs> I don't love style. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> no, 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 no. I need second. Okay. Um, two. Pick two. Pick two again. Uh -uh. Counter. I block it. I block it two. <laughs> I block it three. Last card. Check on. <laughs> you cheated. You cheated. No. You cheated. Count it four times okay, now. Four times. Like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to hurt you. I'm trying to hurt you. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay. Okay. I'm not going to give you. No, 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 no way, no way. Don't do this, don't do this. Don't 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 try me. Man. Yes, I have checked his room because there. I'm not sure it's at this house. Oh, yes, I, I haven't called you, okay? It's fine, Mom. Alright, bye. Oh, um. <laughs> Bro, where have you been? Um, Mom says she's been trying to reach you and your phone is switched off. Clients are trying to reach you. You need to turn on your phone and call mom. Oh.
we need to end this. End what? Sister, Austin was going to Okay, that's uh, we all have been through heartbreak before. He'll be fine. This is taking too long. I mean, he has abandoned his business. He thinks mom said something to Lucy. Well, maybe she did. But you know she didn't. She doesn't even care who her father is. She thinks Lucy is smart and pretty and most importantly, she makes Austin happy and she doesn't want to interfere in their relationship. Oh, you and I are the one doing this and we have to stop it. You know, we planned this, so let's stop talking about it like I was the one that planned it alone. It doesn't matter who planned it. I'm just saying we should stop it now. How? By telling her the truth. Yes, I know I'm not ready to go down that journey. Stop joking, please. Isn't it clear to you that Austin loves her so much and he's suffering? You know we're doing him a favor, right? No, we are not. No serious. <laughs> Two is running. <laughs> it is bullying. It's what? This is sweetheart. You have been a friend I've known for so many years now. And I've come to understand the kind of woman you are, and I bet you you understand the kind of person I am. I'm safe and secure with you. My heart, my everything. Please, please marry me. Marry me and make me the most happiest man on this planet. Say you're the one for me. 
I have chosen you and I have made up my mind. You're the one for me. And that's why I will keep calling you Me and you together forever. Never gonna leave your side. No. You're the one my heart desire. That's why I'm calling you my love. I'm so in love with you, baby. You are the one I want. You are the one for me. It doesn't matter where you come from or where I come from. You and I are meant for each other. Just like say we be bread and butter. We go miss like each other, and sugar. Hey, baby, yeah, I, you have won my heart, oh, and I'm not going back. That's why I will keep calling you back. Me and you together forever. Never gonna leave your side, no. You're the one my heart desire. That's why I'm calling you my love. I want us to talk. I'm sorry, I'm not interested. But it's about Lucy. I want to be left alone. I, I know you love her. I know you are hurting. And what has that got to do with anything? Please. How can I see her? I need to talk to her. There's no point. She's with another man. What? Uh, how did you know? Did she call you? I saw them. Oh my god. So, um, did you visit her? What did she say? Hey, 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 what is this? An interrogation room? I want to be left alone, please. Okay. Um, uh, I'll just go. I trust you. We need to talk. Okay, I, I won't. Um, I am here to apologize. Yes. I know Wendy and I, we didn't give you a chance at all. And as a result of that, I know it cost you and my brother a lot of pain. I, I am so sorry. What are you talking about? Um, the phone call you had the day you visited, where she talked about Julie, was all staged by Wendy and I. Yes, um, 
We wanted you to hear it and end the relationship with Austin. Um, we just wanted to protect him. Protect him from what? From any gold digger. His last relationship cost him a lot of pains and the girl lied about everything and that broke him so much. And we didn't want that to happen to him again. And um, about the girl, Julie, that you heard, she's his uh, childhood friend. There is no marriage on the table for them at all. Though she was suggested to him, but he declined and said he was going to make his choice and then let us know. Oh, please. He is suffering. If, if you still love my brother, please let him know. He loves you. What are you going to do now? I don't know. What are you doing? What about this month? What exactly do you have against Austin? Nothing. Then why are you always pushing me to meet this month? I just want you to be happy. I don't want to see you get hurt. You just want to see me be happy? And yet you keep blocking me from the one person that makes me happy. You have talked so much that I that I believe everything you say about rich people, including Austin and his family. You were so sure that we would never walk out. You were against everything. Listen to me, sis. I am not a poor girl looking for a wealthy man to rescue her. Because I am on the path of being beauty rich. He loves me. I want to be with Austin because he gets me. I connect with him. He motivates me. He's everything I want in a man. I love him. I love him with everything in me. Oh no, you just want me to stop seeing him. You just want me to leave him. You just want me to stay away from him. Hey! Why? Hey! No, you're not sorry. You want me to be happy yet you're breaking my heart. The one man that I love. <laughs> But him, is that too hard for you to, to get? Is it?
Yes, I am. For how long? I have no idea. I'm just going away to have a me time. Is it because of me? Hey, hey. What do you want? I, I walked away too fast. I didn't give us a chance. Well, all of that is in the past. You have moved on with your life, and I'm trying to move on with my... I listened to my fears, and I didn't have enough faith in our relationship. What is your fear? That your family won't accept me. Are you dating my family? They matter. They can influence your choice. Not my family. My family is different. Listen, I have been watching you. I have. You have an MBA, right? You have worked tirelessly hard to climb your career ladder to achieve greatness. You're proud of yourself, aren't you? Now, do you think I don't consider how that can benefit me in the future? Well, guess what? I'm a hard-working man myself. I've done everything humanly possible to impress you. I run a company I am in charge of a conglomerate. I'm not some boy from the streets. But I guess you have shot us out because of some flimsy stereotype about rich people. I'm sorry. Listen, I know some wealthy family do everything to protect their wealth. They shut out gold diggers and transfer their wealth to their immediate families. But my family is different. They know how hardworking you have been. They have so much respect for you. They know you're not a gold digger. We are proud of you. Don't you understand? But I guess you have a new man in your life right now. I'm sure he's proud of you. If he's not, he needs to be. I don't want to miss my flight. Vanessa told you? I saw both of you hand in hand. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for not talking to you about what I heard. And that made all my fears and that of my sister seem so true. Austin, I'm sorry I didn't believe in what we shared. I'm sorry I had the guts to to end the relationship. I'm sorry. Sorry, I didn't trust you. But I hope you find happiness. Because I don't think I would ever. See, I have chosen you. And I have made up my mind. It doesn't matter what anybody say. You're the one for me. I have chosen you, and I have made up my mind, you're the one for me, that's why I will keep calling you, me and you together forever, never gonna leave your side, no. 
You're the one my heart desire you That's why I'm calling you my So in love with you, baby. You are the one I want. You are the one for me. It doesn't matter where you come from or where I come from. You and I are meant for each other. Just like say we be bread and butter. We go miss like each other, Gary and Sugar. Hey, baby. And I'm not going back. That's why I will keep calling you back. Me and you together forever. Never gonna leave your side. No. You're the one my heart desires. That's why I'm calling you my love. I changed my mind. I could not travel. I'm sorry too. I have made up my mind. It doesn't matter what anybody say. You're the one for me. I have chosen you. And I have made up my mind. You're the one for me. That's why I will keep calling you back. Me and you together forever. Never gonna leave your side. No, you're the one my heart desires. That's why I'm calling you my. Your boyfriend should be very proud of you. I hope he is. I ended things with him. You did. I love you. I love you too. Let's see. I don't ever want to stay a day without you by my side. I love you with all of me. I feel like we're destined to be together. I feel like there's no me without you. You're my happiness, can't you see it? You're my world. I love you. I want to spend the rest of my life with you. Because love is pain. Love is patience. And above all, love is sacrifice. That's why I'm ready to sacrifice everything just to be with you. I love you. to say this but
Lucy, will you be my wife? Just say yes.